Hey guys, it's your girl Corey coming at you once again. Um, this video is going to be about hygiene. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of videos on YouTube where, okay, let's start with makeup. Where say, you're doing your makeup, which is fine, and you have, say, your brush. You go, Poof, blow it, and then you put it on your eye. Ew, that's like germs. I learned that in school, and I still knew it before then. But when you think about it, it's like, ew, that is nasty. Like, you have a brush. Even if you don't blow, blow spit, still, some kind of spit is coming out. And then you go put it on your eyes. Or the worst thing is if you're doing a client and you put in the brush and go like this. Ew. I would look at you like, I know you did not just put that on my face. Like, hell no. And then with the eyelashes. Okay. See, and almost everybody does this. They have the eyelashes. They put the glue on. And when they're waiting for the dry, blowing it. No. I could say I did that a few times. But after I thought about it, and especially after I went to school, I was like, ew, what if you have, like, um, a cold or, you know, just something in the mouth? And you spit it on there, and you put it on your eye, and then, you know, God forbid your eye gets infected. Or if you're doing somebody else's eye, God forbid their eye get infected. So just think about it. Like, when you... Just practice good hygiene. Don't blow on it. Tap it. Wave it. Wait, I don't know. Just do something instead of using this. Don't use this. And then with hair. What I also learned in school is you have the comb. Comb in. Drop it on the floor. Pick it up. You'll probably dust it off. If you do that, and then you just go back and comb it, ew. Especially if you're in a shop, don't do that to your client. You don't know what you got on the floor, and even if your floor is spick and span clean, no. You gotta get a new comb. If you went to state board, you will know. If you drop the comb, you get a new one, or or sanitize it real good. But then still, you can't use it. But Let's practice good hygiene, people. You know, 2011, good hygiene. No blowing. If I see, okay, <laughs> if I see you blowing on your makeup brushes in your video, I'm calling you out. Not in a bad way. Just going to call you out. Just going to call you out. So no more blowing. <sighs> That's like you're at a, a birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Blow up the candles, and all that goes there. <laughs> we all think about it, but we still eat the cake. That's nasty. <laughs> I'm not like a germaphobe, but germaphobia. But when you think about it, it's like, ew, especially when you're about to eat something. Yeah, the hair, whatever, the makeup, uh, but cake and stuff. Oh, and another thing, when I was at school, the teacher told me that, um, How did it go? Hmm. I think somebody in some salon, they had like an infection in their mouth. You know, like a herpes or something. And she was giving somebody a wax. And is it that? Don't get me wrong, but I'm just going to tell you a story what I think it is. They blew on it, and she was getting eyebrow wax, and somehow she got an infection in her eye. Yeah. It's either that story or a story where, um, you know, like when you go to get your eyebrows waxed, 
and they use the same stick that's sitting in there. Not trying to put New York on blast, but I know a lot of salons where I went to before I went to school. You see that that um that stick stick sitting on the little warmer, waiting for you to come. And then they dip it back in, put it on your eye, and let it sit right back there. Then the next person comes. They dip it in, put it on, or even give you a wax hair hair on your chin, on your mustache, and then you put it on your eye or somewhere else and it's like, ew. But what I'm saying is that the other story was somebody got a bikini wax with the stick. Use the same stick, put it in the eye, and I think they got whatever disease in their eye. This is one of the stories of both, but it's still nasty. So... Let's just practice good hygiene, people, for 2011, and let's continue it on for the rest of the years. So no blowing. If I see you blowing, I'm writing you out. <laughs> anyway, it's your girl, Corey. Peace.